Brian Pickle, what does an architect do? Everything. An architect does everything. What does an architect do? We design. <laughs> an architect designs the landscape that we move through in city life. An architect thinks about the future. We make a lot of rectangles. Architects kind of combine creativity and technical things and make beautiful things up. What does an architect not do? Architects design beautiful things. Architects design the world. I would say that an architect is a translator for the uh, client's needs and designs them. Okay. So architects are technically working. Get tech as an architect? Most people would say that architects just design blueprints for buildings, but it's more than that. Architecture is an art form. Architecture is about creating spaces, and within that space is where memories are created. An architect designs a building to make it functional, sustainable, and makes people want to be in it and around it. To be an architect, you have to have inspiration. You can take your inspiration from anywhere, whether that's color, your environment, anything. Design is about taking ideas and turning it into reality and making it into something tangible, whether it be a model or a sketch or an actual building. Design is taking something from your imagination and interpreting it so other people can see it. Design is transforming something in your imagination and turning it into your reality. The design is something that is sustainable, uh, usable, and aesthetically pleasing. Good design is always changing and thoroughly thought out to the last detail. Good design is something that is functional, sustainable, and pleasing to the senses. As designers, we all have a set process that we must go through to finalize our design. For example, if you have to design a podium, you would normally think of a rectangular prism, but how can you transform that idea? To transform our lectern, we were inspired by Garrett Rutfeld's zigzag chair design. We wanted to incorporate Garrett Rutfeld's simple geometries and elegant diagonals. This inspired me to have an hourglass design that created a varying array of shadows. We use sketches, computer models, and scale models to refine our lectern design. We moved on to actually finalizing our designs. We looked at other lecterns to find uh, what dimensions actually worked. I narrowed down my design by creating my own limitations. This being the amount of pieces I use and creating the least amount of waste of material. When looking at your final designs, you can sometimes find things that you wish you did differently. So no, I don't think that the design process is ever ends. Even after I constructed my design, I noticed that the design process never ends and it could still be improved. Design, I think, is about getting to a point where it's refined, but there's always something that you can change to make it better. I chose architecture because I want to make a difference in people's everyday lives. I chose architecture because it combined my love for art and mathematics. I chose architecture because I want to change how people perceive the world.